Hey guys, and welcome to my channel, Time is But a Window, and today we're going to be doing some Overwatch. As you can see here, the suspect's got, well, it's warm up, so he doesn't have any kills yet. Uh, he's going to take a shot over towards Robin's head, did B-hop a couple times there, and it looks like he's got a B-hop script and an aim lock, making his way over here towards middle. Two guys top mid here on the left-hand side, let's double check if that's an aim lock. Aiming over here to the right, and it looks like he locked onto both of those guys' faces. We go and get some more B hops here, and it's looking like a B hop script and an aim lock, possibly a wall hack as well. One guy over here on the right hand side, actually, Flamingo's gonna take him down, and we got 57 seconds remaining in the warm up. Uh, the suspect gonna be B hopping his way over here towards the van. It looks like there are a bunch of terrorists making their way over here. It's pretty standard for terrorists to go for a B take here. Suspect's able to get a one tap onto Robin, one taps Flamingo. And actually gets the kill on Goose, though his teammate got him quite low. Able to take down Beta as well, and takes down Lamb. Not the greatest aim lock I've ever seen, but you can see he is clearly locking onto people, and he is clearly using a B-hop script. Alright, one guy up here on Catwalk, gonna catch the suspect off guard. Don't think he's using a wall hack as of right now, even though he is using everything else. Gonna B-hop his way up towards Catwalk, looks at the Glock, and making his way back. Goose is there, should be able to take a shot at him, does dink him. And finishes him off. Still got Flamingo in the window there on the right hand side. Taking a couple taps here. Not quite able to get on target. And finally able to take down Flamingo. I'm just going to leave Robin over here in mid on the right hand side. Does he know he's there? Well now he does. But he gets taken out from behind. Okay. So right now it really does look like just a B-hop script and an aim lock. But no wall hack. This round he's got a deagle. And that's going to be particularly deadly considering he's using that aim lock. Making his way over here towards the B site. One guy is up here in B halls. He's gonna spot him out, takes a shot, locked onto his face. Not quite able to get the kill though, and does get taken down. I imagine this is gonna be one of those cases where every time he dies, he kind of goes a little bit harder with the cheats. Turns up that FOV, maybe even turns on the wall hack eventually. Couple guys making their way over here towards B. Looks like he knows they're on their way. In the setup over here for the window, Flamingo's starting to peek out here. Spots out Flamingo, takes a couple shots. That is a pretty far away shot for a 5-7. There's some footsteps all around him, able to take down Flamingo, and another guy gets him from behind. Suspect gonna be pushing aggressive here, able to take down Goose. Still got two terrorists remaining over in mid, but he's got control of the bomb. One guy working his way up catwalk here, the other guy's still in mid. Guy up cat on the left hand side is gonna catch the suspect off guard, still not looking like he's using a wall hack. Alright, making his way over here towards the A site. The terrorists have taken the site here. Gonna one tap Robin. One more guy up close here. Gets away from him. He spots out Flamingo. Take a couple taps. Not quite able to get on target. Lamb behind the try box over there. And it looks like the suspect here gonna go for the repeat. Finally able to spray down Lamb. Still got one more terrorist to worry about. And shoots him in the face while he's flying through the air. Alright guys, I think you guys have seen enough of this. I'm going to fast forward to the end for you guys, but I'm going to keep watching this just to make sure he doesn't do anything new and interesting. Alright guys, and time for the Overwatch resolution. Let's go through this. Aim assistance is evident beyond reasonable doubt, and vision assistance is actually insufficient evidence. It's so weird to see a case like this where he's blatantly bunny hopping and aim locking, but he's scared to use a wall hack. As for other external assistance, that is evident beyond reasonable doubt and griefing. He wasn't griefing anyone on purpose, though he did shoot his teammate in the back of the head one round by accident. So, insufficient evidence here. Let's move on to the next case. And once again, we find ourselves on Mirage. As you can see here, the suspect staring at the ground. Either way, gonna be making his way up Catwalk here, and two guys over there at the B site. Gonna be pushing up Cat, able to take down Sparrow, able to take down Vortex. Plenty of evidence to report the full-on rage hacking here. Making his way over here towards the A site, gonna take down Sparrow once again. And still got two more CTs to take out, takes down Maple and Flute. There we go. Plenty of evidence here. Let's go and report this already. All right, and this is just a full-on rage hacker. Aim assistance, evident beyond reasonable doubt. Vision assistance, evident beyond reasonable doubt. And other control assistance, evident beyond reasonable doubt. Gonna go insufficient evidence on griefing, and let's move on to the next case. All right, the suspect here making his way over here towards the A site. Just gonna flick over towards Violet and Duck's face as well as Canary, looking like an aim lock right off the bat. And gonna be making his way over here towards the A side. It is just warm up, four minutes and 11 seconds remain. Able to take down Bot Violet once again. Peeking around the corner, gets the headshot onto Canary. And I mean, technically we could report this account and get it banned right now. All right, looks like the B-hop script has already been confirmed as he's hopping his way over here towards middle. All right, this time he's gonna B-hop his way back over towards middle. We are on pistol round, got that Glock out. Gonna see if anyone's over here by window. One guy has pushed up towards window left side. 
And looks like he's gonna aim over there. Looks like he knows he's actually there. Able to take down Dart. And yeah, plenty of evidence to already report that wall hack. One guy on the right side, one guy on the left. Of course, he saw exactly where these guys were before he even spotted them out. And wall hack 100% confirmed. Aim lock 100% confirmed. And of course, the B hop script 100% confirmed. After this round, I'm just gonna go and report this. Last guy over here in CT spawn, making his way up towards ticket booth. And the suspect's gonna come around the corner here and just gonna go try to take him down. And he is able to do so. Let's go report this. As for aim assistance, that is evident beyond reasonable doubt. Vision assistance is evident beyond reasonable doubt. And other external assistance is evident beyond reasonable doubt. As for griefing, gonna go with insufficient evidence here. Let's move on to the next case. The suspect here has 20 kills and 119 damage around. But the demo has paused itself right as I loaded into the game. So I figured we could take a second to guess if he's cheating based on his statistics. Well, he's got 119 damage around with 20 kills in the first 17 rounds with a 45% headshot percentage. Honestly, guys, to me, that does not scream cheating, though it does say that he is having a pretty darn good game. So from my opinion, just from seeing these stats alone, I'm going to have to say, I think this guy is going to be legitimate. All right, going to be making his way over here towards the A site. He's a little bit late for the round. Either way, one guy over here by Bomb Plant Box gonna spot out two guys there, taking a couple taps there, and gonna decide to fall back and hide in this cubby. In a 2v4 right now, peeks out, looked like he pre-fired Donk, he kinda looked like he knew exactly where he was through the wall, and gonna take down Maple, and that looks suspicious as all hell. Yeah, over here in Connector, and it looks like Violet's gonna throw his gun out, and his teammate's gonna be the one that actually takes down the suspect. I don't know what happened on that second kill, but it really looked like either that guy lagged as he peeked out, and he died before he actually peeked out or something like that. And it looks like he wants to go for that re-peek, but gonna bail on that. Take his way towards middle where he's gonna get shot in the back a little bit, down to 12 HP already. Gotta worry about Violet pushing up on the other side of that wood. Is technically on him through the wood, but he didn't want to take the shot. Don't know if he's walling yet or not, but it's looking a little bit suspicious. Alright, gonna be watching over here towards A main, gonna spot out Violet. And it looks like Violet's actually gonna fall back here. One more guy over by Palace with a scout, taking a couple shots. Mask is able to take down Cat and Connector. And it looks like they actually have the entire B site. So they should just redirect the bomb back over there. But it looks like they're actually going to try to take out everyone here at the A site. Suspect's going to peek out over here towards Market. It will do a little bit of damage. One guy up close. Look at those instant reactions onto Mask. And you're going to go for the repeek here. Looking like a wall hack to me, guys. Aiming on Maple through the wall. Locks on to the next target. Able to take down Violet. And he wins the round. All right, guys, so wall hack confirmed. Aim lock looks very probable. Suspect over here at the A site, gonna throw a nade over towards A main. His teammate just went down, so he knows a bunch of terrorists are out over there already. Right now, he's in a 3v4 situation. One guy peeking around towards the double box, able to take him down. And now one guy on the other side of the try box peeks out and gets absolutely annihilated. All right, this time he's gonna go with an auto sniper, and that is a very cheater thing to do. Let's see if that really shows off his aim locking ability here. He'll be making his way back over here towards Ticket Booth. Mask is able to take down Wagon. The suspect able to take down Violet, but honestly, that didn't look too suspicious. Now we got Donkey there on the right-hand side, and Mask on the left. Gonna peek out towards Donkey, not quite able to get on target. Still not 100% sold on that aim lock, though there was a couple shots that really did look like he was just locking onto people. Peek out here, and Hatchet's gonna take down Donkey. That's just gonna leave one guy left over there in Jungle. And the suspect, of course, knows exactly where he's at, peeks out, able to take down Mask. Looked like he was right on the guy's head throughout that entire wall. All right, Smoke's coming in over here. The suspect trying to get into a position where he can get a nice angle onto the terrorist. And yeah, that looked like an aim lock to me, guys. All right, taking some shots over here, trying to take down Violet through the smoke, able to do so. Still got two guys up there in Palace. Last guy rotating around towards A main. The suspect staring at him through the wall, gonna peek out without a scope and takes down Donkey. Now, when this Overwatch was paused at the very beginning, I really did not expect this game to be so blatant. Alright, this time the suspect's got an AWP over here towards CT spawn, watching for the palace push. There are three guys already out A main though, able to take down Violet, trying to get into position for the next kill, able to lock onto Mask's face, takes down Maple, knows there's one guy in the bottom there, and yeah, I'm gonna have to say that aim lock is fully on at this point. Still got two terrorists to worry about, one guy planning behind the try box, trying to get an angle onto it, does tag him through the box down to 57 HP. See if he can get an angle onto him. Able to take down Donkey through the smoke, and still got to worry about Zigzag over here on the left hand side. Of course he's pre-aimed on him through the wall, and he just wants to like peek out and shoot him in the face if possible. 
right, so he's gonna peek out and able to take down Zigzag. Gonna get that defuse. He was able to defuse the bomb. All right, guys, time for the Overwatch resolution. Let's go through this. Major disruption, aim assistance, that is evident beyond reasonable doubt. Vision assistance, that is evident beyond reasonable doubt. And other external assistance, I'm actually gonna go with insufficient evidence here. The one thing we really didn't see from this guy is any kind of anti-aim or bunny hopping. As for griefing, I'm gonna go with insufficient evidence here. And that's it for today's cases. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And as always, have a great day.